Hi fellow dog fanciers, welcome back to a new video. Last time I answered the top searched questions about whippets on Google and today I will do the same but with questions about whippet puppies. I hope I'll manage to post this video in time but if there is a slight delay please forgive me, I have to push through a bit of a crazy week again. Before that, in case you're new here, let me introduce myself. I'm Adi, I've had whippets for 15 years and I'm currently owned by eight of them and right now I am eaten by one of them. And I make breed specific videos and sometimes other on dog and animal related topics. Ow! If that's your type of content, you want to learn more about the breed or you want to know that you're not alone in your love and passion for whippets, you can subscribe to support the channel and become a part of our growing whippet family. Let's get into answering puppy questions. Let's define a naughty puppy. As per the human perception, this would be a puppy that has a lot of energy, needs to do something all the time, and often fulfills their needs with activities that can be wild and destructive. So yes, they match this profile and can be very naughty. But let's break this down a little bit. I've said it many times on this channel, whippets are some of the smartest dogs. Whippet puppies are as well. They need a lot of mental stimulation and combined with all of their energy, if you don't provide enough, they will find something better to do. Chewing, destroying, stealing objects that aren't really meant to be toys. It's your job to supervise them, keep them safe, establish rules and provide enrichment to make sure that destructive and unwanted behaviors are kept to a minimum. This can be a lot of work and it's definitely not for everyone. They can be very difficult, especially for someone who doesn't know what to expect. And a part of the answer why is um, explained in the previous question I just answered. They can also be deceiving. You bring your new puppy home, they are tired, perhaps a little stressed due to the change of environment. And for the first few days you think to yourself, is that it? This pup is not as difficult as I was told. But what happens in that puppy's mind? They're using those few days to adjust and get to know their new home and people. And they also make use of this time to observe. Extremely smart puppies that watch your every move, your routine, what you do and when, and what they can do and when. Once they've settled and already know what their new home and you have to offer, that's when their horns start growing. And again, if you let them be bored, they will pay you back with chaos. Just like every other young living being, their job is to have fun, explore and learn new things in the process. Whippets usually settle once they have matured, but until then they have a lot of energy and can be hyper. Some puppies have no stop button and you have to show them that they have the option to rest sometimes. Or else they will forget and the more they play, the more tired they get. The more tired they get, the more hyper they become. Logic, I know, but our puppy Eris is a classic example of this. Just like adult whippets, puppies can be difficult to work with. I did dive deeper in this question about adult whippets in the previous video. By nature, whippets are not meant to work with or for humans, so we can't expect that they will be willing to cooperate no matter what. Not to mention they have short attention span and to trick them into cooperation, I'd recommend you keep the training sessions short but stimulating and always give them something valuable as a reward. Treats, love, toys, or perhaps play a quick fun game anytime they achieve something desirable. 
Also, whippets are impulsive dogs, and that shows already when they are young. Think about it. The moment uh, they spot a rabbit, they're already on their way to catch it before you can even blink. With puppies, you have to be a loud clown and give them quick bursts of fun and excitement. They don't like boring things, people or dogs. Show them you're fun and worth being around and they will be a little easier to work with. Yes, they are, due to everything I mentioned so far. But also because you have to spend a lot of time into keeping them supervised, occupied, socialized and stimulated. You can take rest sometimes when they're sleeping. You have to invest a lot of energy and time and if you are a busy person who expects that their whippet puppy will be fine on their own for the majority of the day, you are looking into the wrong breed. Yes, they do. Basically, just like any other puppy, they like to chew on things. Sometimes it's the random stick in the park, sometimes it's the chew toy you provided, other times it's your phone which you left in their reach, and that's on you, my friend. Your puppy is not to blame. If you provide a lot of safe chews and chew toys and rotate them to keep them exciting, chewing will be manageable. Not as much as you would like, believe me. They usually have a cycle of playing a lot, eating, sleeping for a bit to recharge, similar to any other normal puppy. But this time is never enough for you to recharge because they keep you so busy for the rest of the time. The good news is they sleep more once they mature. Absolutely. Again, I have a whole video dedicated to whippets and cats. But if you already have the cat and you get uh, the puppy at a later stage, with your help and sometimes that of the cat, they'll learn it is a part of the family and it's entitled to personal space and respect. And once they've grown, they won't bother it or see it as a chasing object. Some of them do, but unless you're raising the litter yourself, you will not witness this color change because it happens at a very young age. It's especially noticeable with fawn and red whippets because they're darker when they're born and get lighter during the first few weeks of their life. I felt the pain when reading this question, especially because it must have been asked so many times to end up on Google's most asked questions list. I can just picture those brand new Whippet puppy owners with bags under their eyes, so exhausted that they only had the energy to Google this question in their desperation while their Whippet puppy was having its 30 minutes of sleep. It depends, but whippets usually mature mentally anywhere between 18 and 24 months of age or a year and a half to two years in a more understandable language. Then all the mischief, hyperactive and destructive behavior suddenly stops and you get the benefits of a lazy, quiet and calm whippet just like the ones you've seen on the internet. So I'm really sorry, but whippet puppies don't calm down. A whippet calms down once they have matured. Of course, there are exceptions to this and I personally know whippets that are three, four years of age and above that haven't calmed down, that are hyper destructive and they never let their owners have rest. But what's important to note about these dogs is that they are backyard bred dogs with questionable genetics. If you want a puppy and you make the mistake of not turning to an ethical responsible breeder but to a backyard breeder instead who doesn't breed for health confirmation and temperament you risk to get a very messed up dog if you still feel optimistic after this video and your desire to own a whippet puppy hasn't died yet good for you Keep digging for information until you're 1 million percent sure that this is the right breed for you. So, those are all the questions for today's video. 
no more to answer, so I will conclude it here. I wish you a fantastic weekend and a lovely week afterwards, and I will see you next Friday with a new one. Bye-bye!